Dogs, 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 dogs. Look at them all. Over here we've got Bruno, because he's our logo dog for Clay Tall Stories. People ask me about him. That is a scar from a boar on his head, and this here is a lipoma. It's not cancerous. To have it removed would only be for, I don't know, cosmetic reasons, and it would open to infection, so we just leave it on the old boy. He's very old for his age. He's a pure Dogo Argentino. Weighs 65 kilograms. No, not you, Poe. And he's the guard dog on the farm. He's my old mate. He's a retired pig dog. He's lived longer than they should for this size dog. He's done very well, but he's getting pretty much towards the end, aren't you, boy? Here we have Titch, no, Titch, sorry, Tinks. Patrick, who dropped her off, said she was called Titch, but she's actually called Tinks, aren't you, mate? Tomorrow, Tinks is going to Robbie, who I'll be taking young Smash and young Cuzzy out pig hunting with. And this dog is just staying here for a few days in transition on her way to her new home. Chewing on a pine cone, we have Pace. Absolute trouble of a dog, aren't you, Pace? All the time. I got a call from the dog ranger yesterday because apparently I was out kayaking in the water, I had him with me, and he jumped up on a lady. So we can't have that. The law says you've got to have your dog under control at all times in a public area, and clearly I didn't have him under control. And running with a piece of meat she just picked up is Pink. What's she got? A piece of, she's got something dead she's found. What's she got? This is Pink down here. Oh, it's a pine cone. I thought she had something else. She just smacked into Bruno's mouth. And chasing her is B. Now Pink will be going to a new home very soon. I'm gifting her to patron Sneak. Sneak offered me his main dog and has just been a real support. So she'll be going back and she's a gun of a dog. She's gonna be a cracker, she's about seven months old and really, really super fast. And gonna be a great pig dog. To date she hasn't been on a pig but she just hasn't had that much chance really. And look at B, B's the one with the black and white head. He's a cracker. He has caught many pigs this year. He's become probably, uh, I don't know, right at the top really. He's right next to Poe as far as catching goes. Not quite, not quite a main dog, but not far off it. All good little dogs. These are all bred by Wade Waller. That's why we call them Waller Terriers. And Poe, well, she's pregnant, aren't you? We're supposed to be putting Brown over Poe, who's a mate of mine, Mark Kelly's dog, but, uh, the welding on the cage that held Pace and didn't hold him back. He broke through and we come home. Pace was sitting in the corner having a cigarette and Poe was sitting down licking a fanny. So I think we can pretty much assume that we're going to be having Poe Pace pups. And we won't know whether Brown actually got in there or not because we didn't see that. We left her in the kennel with Brown overnight and didn't see any action anywhere. Not to say it didn't happen. You can get a litter of pups from two males, and they could be half half, or you know, six of one, say six of brown, and two of pace. Whatever happens, there'll be interesting pups coming from from pace, they'll be good. And I see the landlord has mowed our strip that we walked down here. This hasn't been mowed for years, it's actually quite good. Dogs can get down there very freely now. Come on, heal up, good dogs, come on. This little girl's just lovely. Pink is a lovely girl, aren't she? Yeah, she'll be going to sneak. She's a lovely girl. I will miss her, and you're a lovely girl too. But uh, on that note, these two dogs going to good homes will have room for keeping at least one of Poe's pups when they come. Now the rest of the pups that are coming out of Poe, and you never count your chickens before they hatch, but the rest of the pups I will gift to my GBC, that's Good Bastard Club, Patreons. They can uh, maybe pay for the, the shots, you know, all the, the uh, injections they're gonna have, vaccines, and maybe put uh, towards a little bit for the premium dog food they'll be getting, but really, I will be gifting those dogs. So if you want one of those pups and you're a patron, let me know in advance. You'll need to pay for the uh, transport to get to your place, but other than that, there'll be no fee on the dog from me. I don't want to make anything out of them, I just want to see my patrons get a good pig dog pup, and they will be. They'll be baler holders and good stopping dogs, because Poe's a good stopper and so is Pace. Pace has got good stop on them. 
for those of you who don't hunt, stop means you can actually stop the pig. Not only find it, but actually put the brakes on it. Put the asset on it. I'm going to pan around here with the camera, and where we can show you. There's the uh, only Highland bull we've got left on the farm, and there's the pump shed right next to it over there where the last one chased me into it. I went running across the paddock and jumped into it, and um, that was the final time he chased anybody. Away from that electric fence. Get in. Come here. No. Come here. Pinks. Tinks. Oh, she touched it too. She was lucky. Your head touched it, mate. Good girl. Turned around at the right time. It's a bull fence. You get a whack off that, you know all about it, mate. Hell yeah. Mmm. Rightio. We'll head on back. And old Bruno, he knows he's so tired, he's just waiting for me to come back because he doesn't want to walk that far because he's so tired to walk now. Oh, he's heard his name. Come on, Bruno. Come on, you lazy old boy. Bruno, come. He slowed right down. Still is a good guard dog, though. Had visitors yesterday, and they, they wouldn't get out of their car. He was growling at them, and they wouldn't get out. That was enough. Bruno, come. Good boy, Bruno. Bruno, come. Good boy. That's a good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good girl, Poe. You are looking fat, Poe. Pretty sure she's in pup. She's been eating everything in sight. All the chicken eggs, anything that's died on the farm, she finds it. She's chewing on it, man. She's uh, doing what dogs naturally do when they're pregnant, and that's feed themselves up because they've got to they've got to feed a lot of puppies inside themselves that are growing, and that's what they do. So I'm pretty sure she is pregnant. No, she may not be. Like I said before, you. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, but there's a pretty good chance we're going to have some po paced puppies, I reckon. Looking forward to hunting tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be hunting B, and we'll be hunting Pace, and we might hunt that new dog, and we'll be hunting some of Robbie's dogs who we're going to be connecting up with. Looking forward to a bit of pig hunting. Hopefully the weather's not too hot because I'm running new rip gear now on Pace, maybe B, but definitely on Pace. And if it's too hot, rip gear just it slows them down, they heat up and it constricts them. So hopefully it's, it's nice and cool. Plenty of sheep on the farm. Always good to run these guys around the sheep, get them used to it. And you, mate, were barking at one of the sheep yesterday, so we need a wee bit of work to do. She was doing nothing outrageous, but uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, out of there. Come. Be come. Poke come. Good dog. Getting pretty long that grass, isn't it? Might have to put a sheep in there. Oh, we've got one of my sheep over here. This is one I bought. Just fattening it. Taking the dogs for a walk so they can see the sheep. She's looking at it. No, leave it. Just a correction there. Always correct your dog on intent, not while it's doing it. A lot of people think with their stock proofing, you've got to wait till it's hanging off the end of a sheep or a goat or whatever it is you're worried about, and then zap it. It's all on the intent. And I can see that my other sheep under there is caught up. Got a bit of uh, electric fence around her. Or maybe it's just gone over the top of her. Is she actually caught up or not? You alright, mate? Eh? Hey? You tangled in that or not? Looks like it's around your bloody neck. I might just take that off your neck, eh? What's going on there? Oh no, you're okay. It's gone underneath. Sweet ass broke. That's creamy. And she's a sheep I've kept purely for stop proofing dogs around and she's quite tame. She was never a pet lamb or anything, but I can get up to her and touch her. Whereas this guy here, this guy's pretty wild. Just a sheep that's never had people around it before. You don't get too close to her. She's going to be nice eating when she gets a bit fatter. She's a big animal. Good to see her running around and the dogs taking no notice. That's what I like to see. Nice well behaved dogs. Don't want them doing any wool classing. Because uh, in New Zealand if a dog jumps on a sheep, generally it's not a good outcome for the dog if it does that. We don't want that because uh, sheep are a big part of our uh, sort of income here. And once they start biting sheep 
or worse still mauling them then there's no future for the dog so we put a lot of effort into stop proofing them against sheep Oh, Poe's found a rabbit bone. She's crunching on something, aren't you, Poe, eh? What you crunching on, mate? Yeah? The old wolf coming out, the scavenger. Eating a lot of shit on the farm too. That's uh, sheep shit, and there's nothing wrong with sheep poo for your dogs. You guys go, oh, don't let them eat sheep shit. But actually, sheep can break down grass, cellulose, this stuff here, which dogs can't. Dogs will eat it to clear their guts and worms and stuff, but they can't actually break it down. But once it's been through a sheep's gut and the sheep's taken some of the uh, fibre and stuff out of it, it actually becomes possible for the dog to break down the poo of the sheep and get some of the nutritional value from it and also some of the bacteria that's in there, the microbes, which are actually good for the dog's gut. So if you look inside a lot of premium dog foods, you'll actually find often they have the content of the gut of an animal, a herbivore animal like a goat or a sheep or a horse or a cow because that's actually beneficial to these guys here. And they don't eat it because they are disgusting, dirty bastards like dogs are. They eat it because there's something in it that they actually need. What do you reckon, Pace? Hey, just chilling, just chilling. So Pace has become my pet. These are all working dogs, they're all pig dogs. They've all got a purpose, although when you look at them, they have a pretty bloody chill out life on the farm. But Pace is actually a pet, and he sleeps inside quite often. And I'm going to keep him as a pet. He's a neat little dog. He's a companion dog. And we don't want anything to happen to Pace if we can help it, eh, mate? There's always a risk in hunting dogs that they get injured or killed. That's why we're running rip gear that was kindly gifted to me by a good bastard patron, Justin. And thank you very much, mate. He looks very cool in his new rip gear. Very excited about hunting tomorrow, I must say. I've been out hunting, pig hunting for over two weeks now, so need need some meat. I've given it all away. That's in the freezer. I dropped the last bit of pork off yesterday to Arwe, and there's nothing in there, so it's always a good excuse to bring some meat home as well. Go for a hunt. Plus, really important to hunt these dogs because that's what they're bred for. Yeah, man. Good dogs. Good everybody. Where's Bruno gone? Nobody in the paddock. Oh, there she goes. So uh, Bruno's, um, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do when he's gone because he's, he's getting quite old. And he's like about know, eight now. Very old for a large breed dog like him. And am I going to get myself another guard dog? Poe's not a bad guard dog, but Bruno really sorts out people that shouldn't be here. He's had a couple of incidences where he's, you won't get out of your car if, um, if you don't know me, and you come up here, you won't get out of your car if Bruno's around. So we leave the place half the time when Bruno's on the loose. We leave it unlocked because no one's going to get near the place. He literally would. I mean, it wouldn't be good. It would not It would not be good at all. He would do what his job is. He would guard, and he'd probably... You wouldn't want him to bite you. He's got a hell of a powerful bite. So most of the time he'd, he'd growl and probably bail you up and not allow you to move anywhere. Speaking of, where is Bruno? Bruno, come! Oh, here he goes. What you doing up there, mate? Hey? Bruno, come. I bet you found some eggs up there, eh? Yeah, licking your lips, eh, boy? You find some eggs. Hey? Eh? Good boy. Good boy. Had a good. Bruno, come. Come here, boy. Come here, mate. Come here. What you doing? You find some eggs, did you? Hey? Did you find some eggs, eh? What are you doing? The size of them, 65 kg. It's a bloody heavy for a dog when you think about it, isn't it? Bloody massive. Good boy. In his day, he was a fast dog and he was a good pig dog. Pure Dogo Argentino. He'd probably be the last of that breed I ever have. I was going to take the homemade punt out today, but uh, I've got some work to do. Last time I took young Jody out, this happened. The seat broke. Well, the piece of 4x2 that holds the seat up. The Flash Honda seat. Yep, she fell to bits. Uh, the Holden Commodore seat is still firmly in place. SS Commodore will have you know as well. But uh, she needs a bit of work. Lots of things around here need a bit of work. This is the Nifty, which I've been using uh, a couple of times. And I've been using it with this over here. Which uh, you would have seen in one of my vlogs, this new... 
little second hand Mercury, which is a cracker. It's a 3.3, two stroke, noisy as hell, but goes really well. And it's in the fresh water because she'd been out at sea and I've just been running her and giving her the usual flush out. And that's my weapon of choice. And Viking, this is a uh, Prowler 13, but Viking kayaks are uh, going to sponsor me, hopefully. I've been in contact and they're going to. Maybe leave me one of their flagship uh, kayaks. I'll better go out and do some serious fishing. Although there's nothing wrong with this, but it'll be interesting to see what uh, they come up with. This is my macrocarpa block. I generally chop all the possums up on for the dogs. They can smell it this morning. They're getting the actual posse yum. And for the amount of dogs I've got here, I'm probably going to do two of these. This is probably the best dog roll you'll ever buy, in fact without a doubt in my mind it's the best dog roll you'll ever use because it's it's got everything in it it's got all of the like the trace elements and nutrients with your liver, heart, kidney, lung all the internal offal, the good stuff of an animal plus of course possum and a little bit of carbohydrate but really is it's, it's your basic whole food right there everybody watching everybody dead keen what's going on Hey, yeah. You sit down, Po. Sit down. He's wagging a tail. He's wagging it. That's one roll. We're going to chop that into fine pieces. So that amount will be enough for all the Waller Terriers. And maybe a little bit extra. The thing about the stuff is it's really compact. It doesn't actually have any moisture in it, does it, Bruno? Bad catch, mate. Not a good catch at all. Now, let's see if you can do that a bit again. Bruno, sit. Pace it. Sit. You're still failing there, Bruno. Yeah, pace. Okay, let's feed you guys. Before this guy steals it all. You're in the wrong kennel, Po. Po, come. Out of there. Stay there, Po. Stay. You guys shear nicely, okay? Wait for it. Come on. Wait for the command. Wait. Wait, stay, leave it. I'm giving them confused You don't know that command, do you, mate? Okay, eat up. I was giving them confused uh, mixed messages there. I wasn't using the same word. Look at her just quietly eating that there. Such good manners. Such well-behaved dogs. And someone's stealing your food, eh, Po? You, mate. Hey, eh? Ducky, you cannot eat that. That's not your size, okay? We'll take that back. That's dog size. You know, Tinks, if you don't get in there, B's going to eat all that. You're missing out on your dinner. And he's a pig. Eat up, Tinks. Come on. She's not that hungry. Might have fed her too much. Oh, she's back into it now? No? Yeah, just very slowly. B, you're a pig. Bruno, wait. Now, Pink doesn't know how to jump up. I'm teaching her still to do it. She should by now be doing it. Up. Pace up. Pink up, pink up, pink up. She just can't do it, eh? Come up in here, maybe if I get in here. You stay there, Po. Pink, pink, pink come. Pink, pink, pink. Come on, pink, pink. Come on. Oh, good girl, she did it. Awesome, that's the first. Well done, good girl, good dog, good girl. Lots of praise. And you can have some food, mate. Well done. Here, pink, she's not a real big eater. Here, pink. He's interested in that old bits of possum that she had yesterday. Good girl. Good dog. Bruno's like, where's my food? Po, you're a good girl at staying down. It's not your kennel. She's gone into a box to eat a posse. Um, you know what? Um, this guy likes, he likes being fed out of my hand. Because when he's a puppy, I used to feed him a lot. They actually all like being fed out of the hand. They prefer it. You'd like to be fed out of the hand, wouldn't you, Po? That's not for you. You're fat. There you go, mate. Po, you can sit down. I'm going to give you some in your own kennel. Po down. Po down. Good dog. Right, we'll give you some posse yum, eh? I know you're hungry, you don't look like you need anything though. But uh, as you've probably got little puppies growing inside you, we'll give you a feed. These little bits in here, hard to get out sometimes. Sometimes. And this is where I started feeding the ducks, they have a piece left like that. Oh, nice. Uh, you taken there, mate. Nicely taken. She loves the posse, yum, eh? 
The only duck on the farm left, eh? That went quick. Bruno would like to eat the plastic and all, wouldn't you, Bruno? Yes, you would. Not for you. No, no. This is going to be uh, duck. Duck tucker, this one here. You'll be getting yours in a minute. He's getting pretty, pretty impatient, old Bruno. He's doing a good job, though. Just waiting for his command. Here we go, mate. I'm very careful with my fingers because ducky has bit my fingers and it drew blood there you guys you're doing very well there boy yes you are you're doing very well a lot of patience going on there a lot of patience going on there roll number two mm, look at that po jumps up into her box to get fed and i don't actually cut hers up because she's a very very Slow eater. She's got good manners, haven't you, Poe? I didn't say you could eat it yet, mate. But she'll just take it inside and she'll just eat it very quietly. She's not going to wolf it down and choke it on it like some dogs can. No, I haven't said yes, mate. I haven't said yes. I haven't said yes. Just wait for it. Wait for it, Poe. Poe, sit. Eat up. In your box. Good girl. She'll take it in there and just chomp away. And this fella here, well, he's still waiting for his, aren't you, boy? Yep. Yeah, very patient. Very patient indeed. Bruno likes to eat in his box. He likes to eat with no other dogs around so he can take his time and enjoy his tucker. Again, I would normally cut the dog roll up. That's his piece there. But like Poe, he will take it in his box and just savour it and he doesn't wolf it down. He does with his other dogs around, but when he's in his box, he doesn't. So for that reason, I'm not chopping it up. But I do recommend you guys chop your dog roll up for most particular dogs. Look how much his front teeth are worn down. He's very, very old for his, his breed. Eat up. In your box. Boy, we'll leave that door open. He'll come out in his own good time and just roam the property. Well, that was uh, today's snap vlog. Nothing special. Just another day on the farm. A pretty simplistic life. I often wonder why you guys actually enjoy watching it. But uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because you love dogs. Certainly isn't because you like looking at an old man like me, that's be for sure. Not, not pleasant at all like that. And I do consider a lot of what I say and talk about quite boring. I think my life could be quite boring, so I often wonder why you guys keep watching my vlogs. But you enjoy them, so I keep putting them out, and they're so easy to make. They really are, they're just basic. Here we go, Ducky. I'll tell you what I've got for Ducky. I don't feed my dogs this. This is actually a little treat I bought for Ducky. She's not eating that feed there, she's waiting for that. Here you go, mate. There you go, you see it. Yeah, the chicken's been in it too. Am I a bit soft or what, buying dog food for a duck? It's actually not quite true. I didn't really... Well, I bought it, but I got it very cheap. It was a, um... Uh, I was going past the garage sale in Tahi Street in Mapua. And I saw a dog pack of, a thing of dog food there for two bucks. And it was like, I don't know, $40 of dog food. I thought, what the hell? I said to the lady, are you selling this for two dollars? She goes, yeah, well, my daughter bought a dog, we've got a puppy, and then she got sick of it, so we had to give the puppy away. I hate it when I hear people do that. If you're going to buy a dog, man, it's for life, or at least until you find a good home for it. So she ended up with all this dog food that she had to sell, and uh, that, was, that was what I got for two dollars. Steal. Anyway, that's today's vlog. Be good, can't be good, be careful. See you later. Morning, Harold. Harold? Very quiet today, Harold. Hey, Boris. Harold? Boris? Alright, carry on with the silent treatment. See you later.